This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Our nervous system and increase our aerobic capacity. It helps us develop a positive attitude. It creates exertion and stamina and gives us a way to deal with pain. It helps us relax. For many of us, it offers a feeling of freedom. Likewise, meditation is a natural exercise of the mind, an opportunity to strengthen, reinvigorate, and cleanse. Through meditation, we can connect with that long-forgotten goodness we all have. It is very powerful to feel that sense of goodness, having confidence and bravery in our innermost being. Just as in running, in meditation we leave behind our daily concerns, the daydreaming, stress, and planning. We become very present. We enter into the now. By doing that, our mind builds strength. Our nervous system begins to relax. We develop appreciation and awareness. Our intelligence and memory become sharper. We are able to see the world from more than one perspective. We are no longer imprisoned by emotional highs and lows. Love, compassion, and other positive qualities become more easily accessible. Just as in running, when we finish meditating, we feel refreshed. And much for the same reason, meditation is a natural, healthy activity. People sometimes say, running is my meditation. Even though I know what they mean, in reality, running is running and meditation is meditation. That's why they have different names. It would be just as inaccurate to say, meditation is my exercise. I have known some advanced meditators who have been able to bring their meditative mind, that strength and relaxation, into their body with its channels nervous system, and muscles. They become strong, radiant, and resilient. We even have a type of meditation in Tibet called heat meditation, in which yogis who are able to use the power of their mind to control their body heat meditate in sub-zero conditions for months, wearing only a cotton shawl. However, it is unlikely that they would be able to run a sub-three-hour marathon. Likewise, it is unlikely that we are going to attain enlightenment by running, even though some have tried. It is not a matter of choosing what is better, exercising the mind or exercising the body. Rather, these activities go hand in hand. We need to exercise both our body and our mind. The nature of the body is form and substance. The nature of the mind is consciousness. Because the body and mind are different by nature, what benefits them is different in nature as well. The body benefits from movement, and the mind benefits from stillness. When we give our mind and body what benefits them, a natural harmony and balance takes place. With this unified approach, we are happy, healthy, and wise. Even in the ancient world, it was understood that people are happier when their minds are flexible and their bodies are strong. In the modern world, we are faced with conditions that challenge this mental and physical balance. We sleep less now, so we are often tired. We end up sitting down a great deal, riding in cars or buses in order to work in ill-designed chairs that give us back problems and bad circulation. The quality of the air in our environment may be poor, so we become even tighter and more tired. Often we are stressed from the moment we wake up. The alarm clock goes off, hardly a substitute for the sun gently rising. Emailing, texting, working on the computer, and watching television can be draining. Many of us rarely have full or complete conversations because we don't have time. Even our food is constantly being manipulated. Both physically and mentally, we are taking on a great load. In order to handle that load, we need to attend to our well-being. Because the mind and the body are intimately connected, relieving the stress of the body through exercise has an immediate effect on the mind. The mind is no longer dealing with the discomfort of the body. If the body is relaxed and flexible, that is one less thing for the mind to think about. The physical act of running 
thus provide some mental relief, especially the greater the distance run. In teaching my first meditation and running workshop,